What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. Snap on Friday. There's Hamilton. It's the best day of the week. Thank God, it's Friday. We made it through another one. Let's do it. Come on. Snap on Friday in my life. I don't know, there's been a bunch though. Bunch of them, ain't it? That's for sure. Man, what are we gonna give this box away? Well, he's getting bad close now. That's what, uh, well, I sold a couple coats this week. Of course, it's been like negative 37 out here, it felt like, you know. <laughs> but we got a few more back here, and that's it. It'd been done by now if I worked the last two weeks, but. I don't know. <laughs> did you give tickets for that, or how did that work? On the the toolbox. Oh yeah, I got them on here. Well, I got most. I got some of them in a uh, clear bucket at the house. But yeah, we got a bunch of tickets in here though. Well, I can't even remember if I got a ticket. I don't even remember what I did with it. It's been so long <laughs> you know, ago. That's what somebody told. <laughs> they came on here one time. I've been a few weeks back now. They're like uh I lost my tickets. I can't find my tickets. I said, tickets for what? He said, for the toe box. He said, no, I got like six of them. I said, you ain't got none of them. I don't, I'm supposed to have six of them. I said, no, I got all of them for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I told him. You used to would give a ticket, like Clay would tell you, I'd get a ticket, and then I would, uh, I'd give you one, and then I'd keep the other one. I'd post them up here just by the numbers. Yeah. And uh, up here. Never come on and check the numbers. Well, I think that's my ticket. Well, show me your ticket. They all lose their tickets or whatnot. So now, uh, just do it the easier way. I just write their names on the back of them. That way you ain't got to keep up with them. That's pretty smart. Cause yeah. I done lost my ticket if I got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I got. I just keep everybody's tickets and we just write their name on them. And that way there ain't no confusion about it that way. Yep. Well, everybody was wondering where you had been at for the last couple of weeks, and you yeah. might not want to tell them, but I thought oh, it was tell just them, a I mean, serious thing. Yeah, I tell them. I ain't got no problem with it. Well, uh, well of course, last week, I didn't run. My truck was down. Put turbo actuator on the last week, and I don't know if anybody knows how much turbo actuator they are, but they don't give them things away. Like, I think it was about $2,000 just on the part itself, uh, but the week before that, uh, my father passed away on a Wednesday. Of course, then I shut down, obviously, the rest of the week, dealing with all that kind of stuff. Um, hope ain't nobody got to go through that for a long time. That's a that's a tough situation, for sure. Yeah, I imagine so. I know. Uh, but if we make it through it one way or the other, come out the other end stronger. Yep. So that's where he's been. So I told y'all guys he had a very legitimate excuse. And if yeah. that's not a good enough excuse for you, I'm sorry, but you're a pretty shitty person. <laughs> you know? if, if that don't work for you, just give me a come see me. We'll yeah. talk about it. There you go. Yeah, no doubt. Well, it looks like you but, got a ton of tools on here now. Yeah. A lot of we, uh, stuff. We've got some stuff on here. I'm not sure if we show these. Clay actually want to introduce me to these. Uh, these things are awesome. I got two of them on my toolbox at the house already. I think I've sold five or six of them this week. And uh, I tell them they're just a funnel buddy, what they look like, that's yeah. all there. It looks like, a, when I first seen them, I thought it was just a magnetic funnel. And I'm thinking, I don't know what the heck anybody would need a magnetic funnel for, you know? <laughs> and uh, so then I started researching them. And Clay's like, you need these, well I got them. And yeah, they're, I mean, these are awesome. Uh, obviously you could tell they're solid on the end and they go on their tow box. You, they come without the cover. I mean, they come with the covers, but they don't have covers on them, obviously. Uh, what are you talking about? It's on the that's covering the magnetic the feet magnet there part right there. to keep it from scratching. Yeah. I put the covers on here just because you hear that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how hard it is. Now, without the covers, she locks on there. grab hard. Yeah. Obviously, this one's in the plastic bag, so I'm not worried about it scratching the thing, but mm -hmm. it's on there. Uh, the one I got at the house I use, I actually had to dump it out already because I use one for diesel fuel and I got one for oil. I got a, a one of the blown heaters, the yeah, diesel yeah, heaters. That's what I got. 
Well, of course, they don't put the knives on the outside. They got to put it up under it, you know? Yeah, so it's a pain in the ass when you spill so it. So either you can spill diesel on the floor or you can get a funnel and use the yeah. funnel. I use the funnel and then I set the funnel on my little funnel buddy thing. What's cool about them is when you leave the bottom in it, it you know, any fluid will drain down and not make a mess, obviously. Yeah. But the reason why the bottom's removable is so you can use a longer funnel, you know, like a long transmission funnel or whatever. Yep. And they're kind of tight fitting the way they work, but I'll show you a trick how you can make it really easy to get them out. Get you an impact socket. I'll get that one right there. All right, just drop it in there in the top. There you go. Well, I learned to make something new then, because I didn't know That's that. That's how it works. So if you got a longer one, that's the easiest way to get it out, right yep. there. And I know a lot of guys are like, well, I don't need that because I use a five gallon bucket. And I had folks like, well, why you use a five gallon bucket? Like, well, obviously they had the lid on it and they drill a bunch of holes in it and you just mm -hmm. set your funnels over off in there. But the only problem with that is, is that most time the five gallon buckets is over in the corner of the shop or something. And then you gotta go across <laughs> you the shop. String or you, you string. kind of put a rag under it. Yep. Yeah. This will stick to your roll car. Just yep. one magnet, all it takes. Yep. And it will hold your funnel with on there. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I mean, if your funnel's this big and you got a quart of fluid in there, it probably won't hold it. I haven't had to mess with that yet, I don't know. Uh, but it will set on like a two shelf roll card or anything like that, hold on by one magnet. Uh, obviously, if you got a roll card, you can take the covers off of them and they stick a lot harder. Yep. Uh, like on the steel on chrome the metal part rail of or whatever. Yep. yep. You could, I mean, you can feel a difference on them. Uh, and that would be so you ain't got to roll, mm. have your line going all across the shop floor. Well, I see you got a lot of spring tools up here. Everybody loves spring tools. These are awesome. All right, so for you guys that think, oh, they don't pack a punch, let me show you a little <laughs> something, something here. All right, you see all these? That's not acne scars. Let me get my camera to focus. Those are Thomas spring tool marks is what yep. those are right there. Every one of them. And you say, oh, no, no, no. Thomas did that with the snap-on punches. <laughs> but the punches that snap-on have are made by spring tools, well, which I'm, are, yeah. you know, that's one thing I do have to say when snap-on rebrand stuff, Oh, they're going to rebrand the best. They're going to get the best. The best. Yeah, they're so going to rebrand the best. So that obviously tells you that Spring Tools is a good company. They're yep. made in America. They're made in Spokane, Washington. Now, there's a lot of imitations of these tools out there. But yep. I will tell you this. I posted pictures of the owner of Spring Tools on my Instagram. He's a super great guy. He lives in Spokane, Washington. His name is Eric. Their factory is in Spokane. It's actually made in Spokane. He is the inventor. He is the patent holder, so if you're buying any tools that it's a spring-loaded impact striking tool, whether it be a chisel, a punch, or whatever, it's, it's an imitation of his tool. Now, I do know there's a company that claims to be made in the United States that's a direct copy of those. Just beware that that is not always the case. If it don't say spring tools on it, it is not the original. Yep. So, just so you guys know that. And the bad part about it is the imitation tools are the same price as the real ones. So why yep. not buy the real deal and support had, the guy that actually did it to start with? I had a guy, he texted me, I probably been a month ago, I didn't even tell Clay about this yet, I forgot about it. And he's like, well I see you got uh, this and that, and blah, 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 blah. He's, but there's some things on there that's not in the Snap-on catalog. I was like, well, it's not a Snap-on tool. It's not going to be in the Snap-on catalog, you know? Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, y'all were to be kicked out or blah, blah, blah. I said, look, I said, we got another book that has thousands of items in it that ain't Snap-on stuff. So we got permission to sell, you yeah. know? I said, and I said, you can go to the Snap-on's website. And you could type in any tool out there off of Snap-on's website and they don't pop up on Snap-on's mm -hmm. website. And that includes Milwaukee or includes uh, anything. I mean, these right here are in now, the book. What's Nipex. different though, let me let me clarify that because I don't want people to get confused. Yeah. Because uh, I mean, that is a valid, very, very valid point. Like this set is the Spring Tools Master Mechanic set, okay? 
So don't don't get confused on this because it's not the same set. If I can get that open. But so here's the tools, okay? Now this is the 3,500 pound per square inch striking pieces, okay? And right here is a set that Snap-on can order. Any dealer in America can order these, okay? But now the ones that's branded Snap-on is an exclusive tool to Snap-on. You can't but buy that set from anywhere anybody else. else. It's yep. only, but that still doesn't change the fact that Spring Tools build They're it. Spilled. It's just a special set that's They're built for Snap-on. Snap but that's what I told myself. Look, in our supplemental catalog right here, ask your dealer about them. They got them in here. That's the set right there. Mm -hmm. and, and the set that's made for Snap-on is actually comes in a tool roll. Yep. Hamilton had one up here, but I guess he's already sold it. I did, I sold it. But the, that's the ones that all of these holes was punched in. I had a a demo one up here somewhere or another, and I, nope, here it is, right here, actually. And these are a 5,000 pound strike on them. Here's the Snap-on one right here. This is our demo tool which is, uh, it's actually in the other pack right yeah, here. it's in that pack. Yep. I'm gonna go and open it up just so everybody can see. Now it's made a little different in this, you know, but because Snap-on has it made to their specifications, so. But on Snap-on's website though, it tells you the manufacturer Spring mm -hmm. Tool on their website. It says Snap-on on the tool. Yep. It's gonna cost you more than the Spring Tool one. But it's different. The only difference in them is the spring tool got, is riveted right here and snap on smooth. That's mm -hmm. the only difference in them. And it's got the pull tab, obviously, on that. Well, now the snap on one, the regular ones come like this. Okay. Which they make a spring tool like this, but it's called an emergency or a rescue tool that they sell, and uh, that's for breaking glass. They sell it to first responders and stuff like that. It's actually got a piece of Velcro on the back side of it, so they can use it with a molly strap or whatever you know to carry in their turnout gear. To I'm make gonna it show more Clay something right here real quick. We're gonna shut. You might want to shut your camera off just for this second. I'm gonna show you something, then you can show it if you want to. Okay, go ahead. I cut right. it out if we don't want to use it. <laughs> All right. But pretty the, much, I don't care to show it, you know. Yeah. Well, the snap-on ones come, this is the spring tool ones. Okay. You got the thing on both ends. Snap-on ones come smooth on both ends. I just literally pulled this one out the box. It got this on this end. Yeah. Well, I think all of them was that way on the heavy-duty sets. They all got the snap-on yeah. name on them? Okay. Because every one of these had the snap-on name on them. Well, it may not supposed to have the sample name on it, but that, that kind of tells you. Like, I thought you were talking about it being smooth, but. Oh, no. It got the, the, the snap on name. Look, every. This one right here don't. Okay. That one didn't, but the rest of them got the snap on name on them. And this, y'all just let me open the package up right here. Okay. I don't know if that's an air. Or if it's well, the ends are probably all manufactured the same. <laughs> I know but, I've seen them like, and I'm, I'm actually going out there in a couple of weeks, and we're probably going to show a video of actually them being built because it's pretty cool to watch the factory build them. I mean, it's, yeah. it's pretty neat. And that so. would, and we everybody talks about well, Snap on don't make that, or Matco don't make that, or Carlisle don't make that. Their mm -hmm. gear wrench makes them, or whoever makes them. Well, there's a lot of people, a lot of companies make their own tools, and a lot of companies rebrands a lot of tools as they make their own tools. Just like the Snap On obviously rebrands the spring tool, spring punches right. like these right here. Uh, and that's why I, I told Clay I ordered a socket set before I can get them through uh, Mobile Tool Network, the spark plug socket set. Matco was the only one that had exclusive to them. Well, Vim started selling, Vim is the one who makes them. Vim started selling them, I ordered to set offline, and I told Clay about it. There's one of them came in there that was a Matco socket. All of them had Vim on it except for one, it said Matco <laughs> on it. And that just cracked me up that they had slipped yeah. those lines like that. It happens, man. It's yeah. just part of it, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, with they shipping out hundreds or thousands of them a day, you're not gonna mm -hmm. catch every little thing. Oh, well, yeah. it happens. But um, anyway, that's some cool tools, but if you guys hadn't seen the sets, 
they're really good. This is the the HD set, the heavy duty metal working mm -hmm. set. It comes with the, the long punch tool like this, a center punch, a chisel, and these right here will demolish a, a rivet like crazy. And that comes with a pain hammer. Or this is the self center and punch in this yeah. set. Uh, the other set has got the pain hammer in it. But um, the way it works, I know. We're going to do another one. <laughs> but this is the one that's done all these right here, though. Every, we'll do right here in the center. There's right, not no so dots let me, right here. Let me, let me show y'all. There's no marks right there. And it's literally just this easy. All right. There you go. And I didn't pull it back very far. You can pull these things back. Mm -hmm. and Those have 5,000 PSI striking force. And they've got a roll pin punch set. And anybody that's ever had to deal with a roll pin. Knows you need all the pressure you can get. Yeah. And what's cool about them, if you don't need to hit it hard, you just don't pull the spring back far, yep. you know? So. But they've got a lot of really cool stuff that's coming. Like I got the pleasure of talking to him about some of the new products he's releasing. And they got some stuff that's fixing to come out that's, uh, really good because there's a lot of places you can't get in to hit it, something with a hammer yep. and some of the tools he's fixing the launch is going to alleviate that problem so it's, it's really cool and it's good i mean a lot of times you can't get your little roll pin punch with your hammer into it mm -hmm. i mean well having a good toolbox is all about to... options right yeah. like if this don't work, you can use this. Or if that don't work, you got you know you got a plan yep. A, a plan B, and a plan C. So it's always good to have different options on stuff to to get the job done. Because just like you can use a regular wrench in most cases, but a ratchet wrench may work better, right? Yeah. Or a stubby ratchet and wrench may work even better. Yeah. So That's what uh. <laughs> it's always a, good to have the options. I had a new guy the other day, and he was looking at some wrenches, and he's looking at sockets, and I ain't never thought about it like this way, but he kind of opened my eyes up. He's like, what about the ratchet wrenches? I said, well, you're not going to use a ratchet wrench everywhere that you don't use a regular opening box end wrench, you know? He's like, well, why not? I'm like, well, I mean, ratchet wrenches ain't going to take the force. So right. Sometimes you do got to take your hammer and you got to hit your wrench yeah, or something yeah, like that. So you, you don't want to do, do that with you your ratchet do. wrenches, yeah. you know? And he's like, well, I don't think I'm going to get no sockets or ratchet. I was like, I don't care what you get. You know, I just want to make sure you get stuff you want to be happy. He said, well, isn't that the same thing as a ratchet wrench? I was like, similar? You know, yeah, I mean, I ain't never I mean, thought about true. it. I guess if I only could afford one thing, whether it be wrenches or sockets and a ratchet. I'd probably go with the ratchet wrenches. I'd probably do the ratchet wrenches. And I was too. like, I mean, I ain't never thought about it. Of course, obviously, I mean, ratchet wrenches don't get down there, but you got to use your extension or stuff like that. Or if you need. He's going to have hell oh, changes spark plugs all on You got that <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe they make some deep well ratchet yeah. wrenches. I don't know. I ain't seen them, but. And uh, I was like. Well, I mean, you got a good idea until you got to have extension. I guess if you got an impact, a set of impact sockets and an impact and a ratchet, that's the route I would go. Yeah. Like instead of buying the chrome and the impact, I would just get the impact yeah. sockets. Yeah, I don't even have uh, chrome sockets, chrome half inch sockets in my drawer. Mm -hmm. All I got is chrome. I got them because I got a good snap on dealer that talks me into buying shit that I may not need. But <laughs> they bring you. I, 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 <laughs> I use the the impact sockets. Like that's the ones I warranty out because that's the ones I always use. Yeah. But and that's what well, I mean. We talked about this before though. I got three eighths chrome sockets, but I don't ever use them unless the impact socket's too deep. I mean, too thick to get in there. Most of the time, I put a ratchet. I mean, a uh, hand ratchet mm -hmm. on my regular impact socket. Well, I do. You know, I own a set of quarter inch impact sockets, and then I own some. You know, I bought the kits when y'all had them on sale that time where you get the ratchet and the sockets yeah. all together. And um, I like that. But at the end of the day, like, you could probably get away with chrome sockets running them full time on a quarter inch impact. I mean, yeah. 40 it's, foot pounds, you're putting more than 40 foot pounds on I think hand, the hand. So. Yeah, as far as what you might get 60 out of some of them at the mm -hmm. most. But that's not, you're not gonna break a. But I'm, my goofy butt uses the chrome, I mean, the, the impact, impact sockets. sockets on everything all the time, you know. Everybody, What's the habit? I don't have any chrome sockets. Yeah, I do, but I just, you know, these and right they, here. And they right. need the oil anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, I might as well use them, right? <laughs> I don't know. I just like them better. I just, I don't know. I And I haven't run into an issue either where, 
you know, I've run into a space where they wouldn't fit. Like, I mean, obviously on some wheels, but it is what it is. That's when you go back for your option B. Yeah. You, know? you get, I mean, I was the job one be easy, but at the end of the day, you got to get the job done one way or the other. And if I could only afford one set, it would definitely be impact sockets because yep. I'm too lazy to run a ratchet all day. And that's the <laughs> truth. <laughs> you know? I got I ain't too lazy. I mean, I got a battery gun, and that's its job. I mean, you know, yep. why not use it? And a battery ratchet, so. That's what, uh, I hand ratchets, I don't have, I think I got two quarters and three three-eighths ratchets in my toe box. Son, I got a snap-on dealer you need to talk to. Yeah. He well, sold me like 60 of them so far. I got a lot of <laughs> extensions, though, and swivels. I try not to use no hand ratchets. I'm <laughs> Your snap-on man must not have the selling power mine does, because I, like I think I've, I own every snap-on ratchet they make. I, think so. <laughs> I got some like four of the same one, just different color handles. My snap-on guy's a good salesman. I need to get you hooked up with him. Get you spend a little up. money. <laughs> but so that's cool. So what else you got new? Anything else? Oh, that's about it. I ain't really done much. Just. Last two weeks, like I've been busy with other stuff. What's them long going. cutters? Them some long jokers up there. Are these? Well, actually, these are blue point ones. They're long. Uh, yeah, a guy brought. He bought these back a couple years ago. That'd be uh, good. You, can, you wouldn't have to squat down to cut your toenails. You yeah, can stand up and do that. Well, yeah. I don't realize how tight these suckers was. They're brand new, ain't they? They've been used a little bit, but they tight though. Yeah, he bought these, uh, the long set and the short set. Uh, a few years back, he was getting started. Of course, you got both sets for like 175 bucks, you know. Yeah. And probably 12 pliers, 10 or 12 pliers all together. We traded them the other day. He wanted to get uh, snap on, and I got him on, on a few Nipex, like on the outside channel locks. I'm gonna go with the Nipex brand instead of the snap on ones. Um, but he's ready to move up. We don't want to feel them out because, I mean, they are China made. They're not as good as the snap on or yeah. Nipex brands. Uh, but he upgraded and got him a better tool and there you go. spend some more good money. Make a, make a payment, right? Yeah. That's the way to do it. All right, guys. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the Snap On Friday. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. And if you're not subscribed, it's the easiest thing you'll do today is click that button. If it comes any easier than that, Whew, wish I had your job. Yeah, Have right. a great week. See ya.